Before SpaceX entered the space industry, launching rockets was a straightforward yet costly and wasteful process. Rockets were designed with a singular focus, to deliver their payloads to space. Once their job was done, no thought was given to their recovery. Many rockets were left as debris in orbit or brought back to Earth only to crash into the ocean. This approach not only polluted space and oceans, but also posed significant safety risks. Moreover, it was incredibly expensive because every rocket required entirely new parts for every launch. SpaceX introduced the concept of rocket reusability, which significantly changed how rockets are used. Instead of discarding the rocket stages after each mission, they developed a method to reuse them. The Falcon 9 boosters, for instance, have been reused more than 20 times. This approach is similar to how airplanes operate, flying multiple missions without needing to replace major components. By reusing boosters, SpaceX has saved millions of dollars per launch. Falcon rockets, however, are only partially reusable, as only the booster stage is recovered and reused. In contrast, Starship is designed to be fully reusable, meaning both the booster and the upper stage will be recovered and reused, minimizing waste and reducing costs further. To achieve this ambitious goal, SpaceX developed the Mechazilla launch tower. This revolutionary system catches returning rockets midair and lands them safely on Earth. While the concept initially seemed too ambitious and even drew criticism, with skeptics labeling it as ridiculous, SpaceX silenced doubters during Starship's Flight 5 when they successfully caught the booster midair. This feat was a first of its kind and marked a significant milestone in aerospace innovation. Despite its revolutionary potential, SpaceX's vision of launching 1,000 rockets per year presents a massive challenge. The intense preparation required for just one launch, including repairs and maintenance for the Mechazilla Tower, makes achieving this frequency highly unlikely. However, there is an alternative approach. What if Starship didn't rely on the tower to achieve full reusability? What if it could land on its own, equipped with landing legs like Falcon 9 boosters? That's exactly the innovative solution SpaceX is now exploring. SpaceX is now exploring several methods to enable Starship's return without relying on Mechazilla arms, with one of the options being recovery on a drone ship. SpaceX began using drone ships for rocket recovery in 2015. Drone ships are large mobile platforms stationed in the ocean. They serve as landing sites for rocket stages that do not have enough fuel to return to land. These platforms have played a critical role in SpaceX's efforts to reuse rockets and reduce launch costs. The process works as follows. After a Falcon rocket completes its mission and separates its first stage booster, the booster begins its descent back to Earth. When returning to the launch site is not feasible, the booster targets a drone ship positioned in the ocean. To ensure a precise landing, the booster uses grid fins for steering during its descent and performs controlled engine burns to reduce speed. Once it lands on the drone ship, it is secured for transport back to a port for inspection and refurbishment. SpaceX currently operates three drone ships. The first, named Just Read the Instructions, was introduced in 2015. It was initially stationed on the West Coast to support launches from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California but was later upgraded and moved to the East Coast to handle launches from Florida. The second drone ship, called Of Course I Still Love You, also entered service in 2015 and has been primarily stationed in the Atlantic Ocean for missions launched from Florida. In 2021, it was relocated to California to handle increased launch activity from the West Coast. The third and newest drone ship, A Shortfall of Gravitas, began operations in 2021. It was designed with advanced automation features, reducing the need for human involvement during operations, and primarily supports launches from Florida. Each of these drone ships is equipped with advanced station-keeping thrusters, which allow them to maintain precise positions in the ocean, even in adverse weather conditions. This stability is crucial for ensuring successful booster landings. These ships have significantly increased SpaceX's ability to recover and reuse rockets, which is a cornerstone of their strategy to make spaceflight more affordable and routine. 
Now, in addition to their current use with Falcon rockets, SpaceX is exploring the idea of adapting drone ships for Starship and Super Heavy. This would involve significant modifications due to the much larger size and mass of Starship and Super Heavy compared to the Falcon rockets. For context, Starship's dry mass is about 100 tons while Super Heavy's is around 300 tons. These numbers dwarf the Falcon 9's first stage, which weighs only about 25 tons. The Starship and Booster could potentially land on separate, larger, and more robust drone ships. These ships would need to withstand the intense forces generated by the descent and landing of these massive vehicles. Landing Starship and its booster on drone ships offers several advantages. It provides flexibility as the mobile nature of the drone ships allows them to be positioned anywhere in the ocean. To make this work, Starship would need several upgrades. The most notable change would be the addition of landing legs. Unlike Falcon 9's foldable legs, Starship's legs would need to be much larger and stronger to handle its size and weight. They would also need to fold seamlessly to avoid adding unnecessary bulk during launch and flight. Using drone ships for Starship offers several advantages. First, it provides a backup option if Mechazilla encounters technical issues or if launch schedules demand more recovery flexibility. Second, drone ships are mobile, allowing them to be positioned in optimal locations based on mission requirements. This flexibility can save fuel, as Starship wouldn't need to return to a fixed landing site on land. Another significant advantage is safety. By recovering rockets in the ocean, SpaceX minimizes the risk to human populations in case of an anomaly. The ocean acts as a natural buffer, reducing the potential impact of debris or explosions. While the concept of landing Starship on a drone ship instead of relying on Mechazilla arms is promising, implementing such a system will require significant modifications and time. Therefore, for imminent missions like the upcoming Flight 7, SpaceX will continue to utilize the Mechazilla system for booster recovery. In Flight 6, conducted on November 19, 2024, SpaceX planned to catch the Super Heavy booster using the Mechazilla arms. However, due to an automated health check indicating a potential issue with the launch and catch tower, the catch was aborted. Instead, the booster executed a controlled splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Flight 7 is scheduled for January 10th, 2025. This mission will utilize Booster 14 and Ship 33, the latter being the first Block 2 upper stage. The Federal Aviation Administration has granted the necessary launch license, and SpaceX is completing final preparations for the flight. Given the challenges encountered during Flight 6, SpaceX has likely conducted thorough diagnostics and implemented necessary adjustments to the Mechazilla system to ensure a successful booster catch in Flight 7. The experiences from Flight 6 have provided valuable insights that will inform the procedures and contingencies for the upcoming mission. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.